everybody, it's Jimmy G in the place to be. Welcome back to The Good, The Bad, The Awesome, where we review all things Transformers, Star Wars, sprinkled in with some other stuff in pop culture, uh, and you get my first reactions, because what I see, you guys see. So whatever you see, I see. I haven't touched this stuff before, uh, so I only see them in the box. So if this is your first time here, please make sure you like and subscribe, so that way you can get it in on all the other wonderful stuff. If you've been here before, thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. As we march our way to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, we're clo getting close to 350. We're one away, and uh, I need to get to 400 before the middle of July. I'd like to get to 500 by the middle of August, and then be at 1,000 by the end of the year. We have all sorts of giveaways that we do at each one of those milestones. I know there's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle giveaway and some autograph stuff at 1,000, but we also have our July giveaway going on right now, and I'll put the description down below and the video down below so make sure you watch that so you can be a part of that and get some really cool batman stuff that you can win no purchase necessary so today we're going to talk about a brand new bot that i just got in from amazon some of y'all already have them i just got them and this is pretty much my really my second one of these that i have uh so uh let's take a look at the box this is him we got Legacy Evolution with the Evo Fusion. Uh, Beachcomber also with the Paradise Parakeet, which I'm excited about because I've never had a bird with my vehicle. So this is going to be awesome. I never owned Beachcomber as a kid. He was really cool. Uh, this, I guess, is to kind of mimic with the Paradise Parakeet, the Golden Lagoon episode from Transformers G1. Uh, but uh, this is Beachcomber. He's a dune buggy. I didn't dig dune buggies as a kid. Of course, I could never find him as a kid. Uh, of course, we couldn't afford him as a kid, but I can afford him now. Uh, but I do have a legend scale version of him. And uh, yeah, we'll compare him to that and we'll compare him to some other things and see what we think about this guy. So let's go down and take a look at the box and get him out of the box and do some transformation and some talking about him. So let's do it. Here we are with the packaging uh beachcomber and if you, i love the look right here very cool artwork there of him in his dune buggy uh alt mode and then on the side of the box you have some more legacy evolution figures with leo prime there uh and i believe uh oh yeah we got a picture of the nemesis's face where's that tarn oh, i think it's the nemesis face uh and some junkions and some dinobots all sorts of cool stuff on that side on the back seat tells you it's beachcomber he's got his parakeet there's his dune buggy the evo fusion gimmick that there is where you can put that gun where the light don't shine i guess uh but anyway uh he's 11 easy steps to download we'll see how easy it is because as you know i'm not a very good transformer transforming transformer person uh so we'll see that this side has another picture of beachcomber and then on the bottom all the obligatory warnings that says hey if you are under the age of so and so oh that's right here zero to three can't play with this don't eat the stuff in here if you eat transformers you're paying way too much for food uh so um go with ramen transform your transformers but let's get him out of the box so let me see where are you my trusty trusty knife westless snipes let me grab you here really quick i think i put him over to the side here there he is ba -ba -ba let's go ahead and i thought typically i try to open him from the top but i think what i'm going to do is open him from the bottom because that's probably going to be a lot easier and keep me from getting myself cut too much uh so let's do the shock and awe of what is in the package that you get to find out as i find out and open this guy uh see i i don't give you all the scientific stuff you just get me going ooh. Ah, sounding like a weirdo uh, doing this, but uh, this is Hasbro went to this eco-friendly packaging. Debatable if it's good or not. Some of y'all like it, some of y'all don't. Good for the environment, bad for keeping a bot looking good. Uh, so let's get him cut out of here too. So we need the scissors uh, to get him out completely. And you're like, no, don't take him out. Keep him collected in the box. Keep him in the box. No, I'm not gonna keep him in the box. He's meant to be played with and transformed and displayed on my shelf to collect dust for all eternity. Uh, so 
that is what his goal in life is. Let's get him out. Oh, we got a nice little package deck back here with some stuff in it. I believe the parakeet and his gun is in here. Paraquete. Is that how you say it? Paraquete? Parakeet. Parachete. Parajeans. Uh, paraqueens. There we go. So let's go. Four of a kind. There we go. Let's get that out. Let's get that out. Let's put all that side to the side and then put all this to the side too as well. So here we have Beachcomber in his robot mode and you get in the package, you get the instructions, which I will rely on religiously to get him transformed. You also get his gun. Uh, so really, really cool. I like the kind of the detailing on it. If you can take a look at that, it's pretty cool. Uh, got some gray, got some black. It's been painted. And then we got Petey the Parakeet. I don't know what his name is, but that's what I'm going to call him. Uh, Paradise Parakeet. Uh, Pete the Paradise Parakeet. That's what we're going to call him. Uh, he is a rubbery, kind of soft, rubbery feeling guy. So be careful. You don't want to rip him off of there. But So he's kind of cool. And then the main event himself, Beachcomber. There he is. And so there is a front view of him, a side view of him a back view. There's Beachcomber's butt and his little butthole. Uh, and there is the side of him there. And then there's the front again. So uh, from an articulation standpoint, you do have a head that can't do 360 because his backpack gets in the way, but you can do uh, up and down his arm. You can 360 it. You do be, you're able to take it out just a little bit, but his wheel kind of gets in the way. Oh, wow. The wheels are rubber. That's nice. Usually they're plastic, but these are rubber. That's cool. And then you get the bend right there as well on that. Uh, sorry, I had to I, squirrel. That's the way I am a lot of times. Uh, so you'll have to get used to my ADD. But um, yeah, plastic rubber wheels, man. I haven't had rubber wheels since G1, really. Uh, there he goes. Jean-Claude Van Damme, he can do it. You can 90 degree bend, 90 degree right there. And you can go all the way back to as well. And you have some leg twist and you have a little ankle rocker right there. So if you want to pose them, you can. The cool thing is you have a little spot for Petey. Petey, the paradise parakeet. You can put them right here. And Beachcomber can be talking to him. So, hey, what you doing? How you doing, buddy? How you doing? That's not how he sounds in the cartoon. Uh, he's like, I don't remember how he sounds in the cartoon, but that's going to be my voice for him. My name's Beachcomber. How you doing, Petey? Petey the parakeet? What you doing? Do not poop on my finish. This is my car. I'm a car and a robot. I need to look good. So make sure that you don't poop on me and make sure you sing some beautiful paradise songs for me too as well. Um, I got into like a Colonel Sanders Southern <laughs> voice there. But there he is with his gun and all that stuff. So let's compare him to a few other bots that I have. So first of all, let's compare him to his tiny brother, the legend-sized Beachcomber that I have right there. So you can take a look at them both very closely. Uh, I like legend stuff because it is very awesome and very cool. But this is the new age Beachcomber. This is the uh, Legacy Evolution Beachcomber. If you couldn't tell the difference, there now you know. Uh, but there he is together with him. You can see how much smaller this little Beachcomber is. Uh, we do have another new a, uh, well, a legend-sized figure, and this is the legend-sized Cyclonus. Uh, getting a little bit bigger there, but if he was really in scale, Cyclonus would be bigger on that. So, But let's get into a deluxe class figure right here. We have our Shattered Glass Wheeljack. Uh, so you can kind of see from a size comparison, they are pretty comparable. And then last but not least, we have our Voyager class Starscream, uh, right here too as well. So love the scaling that they do. So Hasbro, really cool stuff there. Um, some of y'all, you know, some people complain about Hasbro, but I think it's still cool. Hasbro's cool. We'll still buy them. Uh, it's kind of like, you know, you know, we, we're always like, oh, well, it has this or it has that. The clerk is like, well, do you want to get them or not? I'll take 12, you know? Uh, so, um, yeah, but that is them there. So let's see if we can get him transformed. So we will come back in just a moment to talk through transformation after I get a few shots of him on the wheel of possibilities, but we will transform him in just a moment. See you in a bit. 
And we are back, getting ready to transform. Something else I want to show you where you can put the little bird. You can put him right there. Right there on his shoulder. Oh, Mr. Green Bird on my shoulder. Well, it's the truth. It's actual. Everything so sad is factual. Zippity doo da, zippity day. All right, there we go. Enough of that, Green Bird. Green Bird of Paradise. Let's put you over here, but let's get ready to transform them. I got my trusty instructions right here. See if I could figure this out. I don't know, maybe this is always the hardest part for me. So let's see if Hasbro made this easy for me. So here we go. And we're back, got it in vehicle mode. Took me a little bit, but I got it done. The part that got me a little bit is, this is a little gappy right there, right there, in between there. But it rolls, it does what it's supposed to. It looks like a doom buggy. And we got Paradise Parakeet right there too as well. So we're good, 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 good. Sorry, let me move that camera back. Uh, so uh, let me just show you. So there's the top right there. There is the side. There is the back. And there is the side. In the front, his gun fits as the bumper right there. Uh, and then the back right there. Uh, but the other thing you can do is the gun, I believe, you can tab it onto the top as well. Uh, let's see here. It just kind of forces its way. Yeah, so like that way, it's like a gun at the top right there. So that's kind of cool. Um, I don't know if I'd leave that there like that or if I want a bumper, because I think I'd rather have a bumper on here. Let's put this back on because I would rather have a bumper. And so we got, or a fender or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so we got that there. So there he is in vehicle mode. So let's compare him to a few other vehicles. Uh, now I did not transform this beachcomber into a vehicle, uh, but we'll put him right here. He can kind of chill out on his brother, ride on his back maybe. Nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, so uh, let's take a look at a core class wheelie right here, so you can kind of see what a core class looks like next to him. Then we also have a Legends right there, Brawl. So Magic Squares, Brawl. Uh, let's pull in a, well, I guess it's Leader class, but this is Blitzkrieg. Or Blitzwing, not Blitzkrieg. Blitzkrieg is the strategy for German. I did that again. Blitzwing, right here. And for poops and giggles, Magic Squares, Masterpiece Class, White Optimus Prime, or Ultra Magnus there. So there's how he compares. Overall, again, I, I, I dig his... His mode here in vehicle, uh, very clean on the under gap, but there's just a lot of gappiness to it. Gappy, 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 gappy. So it's like me, my front teeth have a gap in them. So he has a gap too as well. So maybe he can whistle a little bit better. Uh, but overall impressions, I mean, pretty cool for 
a deluxe. Once I was able to get it pegged in right, I think it worked smoothly. I think next time I transform it, I should be able to get it pretty quickly. Uh, but it did take me a little bit. As you can see, I struggled. I had it was on the struggle bus a little bit, but I like the parakeet right there too as well. So let's get back together for some of my final thoughts around him. And is he a buy or is he a pass or what, you know? Uh, so let's talk about him. Come on. And we are back together for my final thoughts. So let's bring in Beachcomber again. Here he is, beautiful boy with his Paradise Parakeet right there. Uh, I dig him, I like him. The plastic feels really good. Uh, he's got some good articulation. Uh, the rubber wheels is what gives it to me right there. I love that and they spin really good. Um, from a transformation standpoint, pretty straightforward. I did get stuck on a couple parts, but uh, pretty straightforward, especially if you are much more master than I am. But he is a little gappy in a little bit, little places there. So, but uh, let's bring his little brother in there. So, yep, big boy, itty bitty package. So, uh, but. Very, very impressed with this one. This Legacy Evo Fusion, good job Hasbro on this guy. I mean, he looks good, he transforms well, uh, and I like the parakeet. That's that's it, I think it's great. I never had the, I, I think everyone said like they like the Power of the Primes one better. I never had that one, so uh, this is my, like I said, my second Beachcomber besides the Legend Scale one, and, um, and so far, He's doing it for me. So on a scale of good, bad, or awesome, again, pretty awesome. You know, it's tough to get an awesome out of me. I mean, there's some things that'll get really awesome from me, but you know, this one's a pretty awesome. I, I give him that. I think, you know, from a vehicle mode, some of the gappy parts is a little bit, uh, a little bit noticeable, but he's a dune buggy. Maybe that's why it's supposed to be there. Uh, the one concern I have is with the gun, when you put it on the rail on the top of the dune buggy, I wonder if that'll eventually wear out. So um, who knows, maybe, maybe not. But uh, if you play with it all the time, then yeah, it will. But if you leave it on the shelf, like I will probably do, uh, he will be fine, perfectly fine. So, uh, but yeah, Beachcomber, take one last bow. Oh, thank you very much. So there we go. So. Tune in next time where we review something else amazing. Maybe it's going to be Transformers, maybe Star Wars, maybe McFarlane DC figures, maybe anime. Who knows? But every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you shall find out. So y'all remember the giveaway. Don't forget about that. Uh, but y'all remember to stay young, have fun, and be awesome. Party on, dudes. Y'all right. Yeah, awesome, super tacular, totally tubular, excellent, party time, way, no way, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that's enough, done.